Hello guys and welcome to this quick video on how to remove the FPS lock in Metal Gear Solid 5. Now a lot of you people may have experienced this because it is a console you know PC port that um, the FPS is either locked to 60 or to 30 FPS. Now um, I've read a comment on YouTube saying you could remove this and it really worked so I'm going to show you in this video how you can actually remove this FPS cap. So first what you want to do is you want to head into your Steam folder, visit the folder user data and now you, you should have a couple of numbers here. Now what's important is search for the folder that has the most numbers and then you should find the number 287700. Now that's the folder of Metal Gear Solid 5. Don't even bother what it is, just click on this one. And now you go to local and you should have these config data right here. Now what's important for you is this TPP graphics config. You right click it, open it up with the editor, just a standard editor that should be in your uh, windows. If not, just download one. And uh, now this is basically just your graphics config. You can also just do that in game. But the thing is something you can't do in game is when you go to the right side, you should find this year frame rate control now, as you can see i've already written variable right there oops i'm sorry but normally it says auto right here so it it was like this so it should say frame rate control auto what you want to do is you want to change this to variable and that's pretty much the fix so what happens now is when you go in game you will have much more than 60 fps unless your pc can't handle it but the great thing is, um, even if you don't have a, a, a uh, let's say 144Hz monitor, you will still be able to re have a lot of profit from it. Because I've realized that a lot of times I went under the 60 FPF, FPS because of this um, frame rate, uh, uh, you know, set frame rate. So this will enable you to have much more FPS. And of course, you can just, for, for example, turn down the graphics if you desire to have more FPS. And. Uh, especially good if you have a higher hertz monitor than 60 fps but in general it's a good thing because you don't want to have set fps unless you have something like vertical zinc enabled thanks for watching guys if this was the video share this to all of your friends so they can hopefully enjoy this game in what it is meant to be played like on pc see you